What's going on guys? It's Jay Rich back again with another one today. Man, I've been swamped this week. It's been terrible and I had a video I wanted to put out last week and I just didn't like it. So I'm here today to redo it and I hope it educates some of you. I hope it helps some of you. Um, and for you to actually see that different people have different ways of doing things and some of it is according to the truck or trailer you have as to how you're doing it so before we get into it like share subscribe all that good stuff all of it uh, today we're going to slide the fifth wheel i want to show you how i do it and why i do it the way i do it so here we go all right if you guys are following me and watching me and stuff like that you know i pull a frameless trailer Frameless trailers are different than van trailers and all that other. And with a van trailer, one thing you're going to want to do, or any frame trailer really, is lower the landing gear to the ground. Take some of the pressure off your fifth wheel. I, however, don't do that. Because th this plate moves and there's a little bit of gap right here. So if I let the landing gear down... All this is going to want to do is tilt up and make the truck want to ride up underneath that trailer. And then it's just going to push the trailer backwards. So, I don't fool with the landing gear. It's a waste of time. If you're pushing landing gear backwards, you're probably going to tear it up. So, I really don't fool with that. On this type of fifth wheel, I do have a air cylinder that locks it not all trucks have this i actually saw a new truck the other day that did not have the airlock um so with that airlock if you look i don't know if you can see it yep see these holes are empty right here there's three fingers that lock in right there now what i also use is some of this lucas fifth wheel slider lube and you just put a little bit right in here and it helps because you see all of the dirt and crap that gets there put just a little bit of this right there not a lot slide your fifth wheel makes it much easier so now that we've got that established another thing i'm going to do is lock my axles together because i am on dirt um loose ground stuff like that uneven ground you want to lock your axles in that just makes it easier on everything your clutch your axles your trailer it makes it easier on everything uh gonna throw the switch inside to unlock the actuator and what you may or may not see is that sometimes this does not come all the way out and unlock so therefore i have to move the truck forward or backwards to get those three fingers to retract in on both sides there's three over here and they retract in so and then to relock it you'll see moving the truck back and forth uh, so those three fingers find their happy place so let's get into it now we're ready to slide the fifth wheel inner axle differential lock power divide whatever you want to call it do that because i am on gravel fifth wheel slide lock leave the trailer brake engaged disengage your tractor brake now if i'm going to slide the fifth wheel backwards i want to come over here down to low gear i'm not doing that so i'm gonna go to reverse Seize out on the clutch.
have it, guys. That's how I do it for this specific type of trailer I'm doing. If I had a van trailer or a flatbed or something like that, I'd do it the way everybody else does it. That's just the way it is. So, if you haven't already, the subscribe is down in the corner. Just, just hit that. And on your way out, hit the like button. Very much appreciated. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. I answer most of every comment I get. But for now, I'm Jay Rich. Keep your knees and the breeze and the shiny side up. We'll be seeing you.